Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to apply the University of Toronto in 2022 for 2023 admissions. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open your browser. I'm using Chrome in my case, and then you are going to type in www.uj.ac.ca, and then you are going to press enter. Let's wait for it to load. And then this is going to lead to lead you to this page here. You are going to select admissions plus E, and then you are going to select undergraduate. If you are a returning applicant, you are going to press here, but in this case, I'm, I'm submitting a new application. So I'm going to select on this step. This is new applicant. And then it's asking me if I have a student number already. I don't, so I'm going to select no. It's asking me if I'm returning to complete an unfinished incomplete application. No, because I'm applying for the first time. Enter the qualification token if applicable. I don't have it, so I'm going to jump that step. And then you are going to have to read all this. After reading, you are going to start to accept, then you are going to press next. And then it's going to start asking you for your personal details. It's asking me for if I have an ECID number. Yes. It wants me to type in the ID number. Let me type it in. Okay, let me double check that. Yes, that's fine. And then it's asking me for a gender. This person here is a female. And then it's asking me for the date of birth. I'm going to search it here. She was born on this month. This year on this date. It says the date doesn't match. That's because I selected date one instead of day two. And then title, she's a miss. Initials, she's an MS. And then it's asking me for the same The first names. Okay. And then I don't need to fill in that. Marital status, which is single. And then home language, it's Zulu. She's an African. And then it's asking for the address. I already have the address used on my device. Coastal code, I'm going to search it here. You are going to type in the name of your area. In this case, this is my area. It's only been saved on my device. Then I'm going to press search. Then I'm going to select the postal code. And then if, it, if the postal code is different from my address, I'm going to tick there. But in this case, it's not different. So I'm going to keep it. And then it's asking me for the South African cell phone number. This is a cell phone number. Not that. Okay, and then I'm going to click in. Yes, what telephone number the person doesn't work. And then it's asking me for the email. Let me type in the email. Okay, it has everything saved on my device. Also verified. And then it's asking me if I want to apply for residence. Yes, I want residence. Even if you don't want to live on your residence, it's important for you to apply for a backup especially if you live far from Johannesburg, and then you're going to be accepted by you, you're going to try to find a place to stay. So it's better for you to apply for residence. So I'm double checking the information, if it's correct. Let me start with the ID because that's the most important thing. Yes, that's correct. Everything is correct. And then I'm going to 
click save and continue. And then it's asking me for a name for the next of kin name. I'm going to type in the name. And then his cell phone number, then search for it. That's the cell phone number. Let me double check. Yes, that's correct. Mm, yeah, I'm missing it here. Yes, and then it's asking me for the account, the account contact details. If, for example, you are going to apply for NISA, so you are going to, uh, to be, your, your fees are going to be paid by certain buzzer, you have to put your details here, because you are going, it, it's the same as when you being responsible for your own account. So, her name, I'm going to type in her name there. And then I'm going to type in for his also his name because there's no way it's going to ask me about his name. Okay, and then it's asking me for a postal address. A postal address. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so I'm just going to select that postal address. And then I have to say okay. Okay, let me search the area. Why does it take so long to load? Okay. And then I'm gonna click on search. Then I'm going to select it. This email is wrong. I'm just sharing an address, okay. I think that is correct. And then I'm going to receive and continue. Then it's asking for the grade 12 year, it's been in grade 12 in 2022. And then it's asking if it's an undergraduate or a postgrad. And then I'm going to select undergraduate because she's currently in grade 12. And then it's asking if she's upgrading or not. She's been grade 12 for the first time, so she is not upgrading. And then, uh, are, you, are you completing or have completed the grade 12 in South Africa or internet or international network? She completed it in essay. And then it says, uh, indicate your endorsement for, from your school leaving certificate. So here you are just going to come to search. And then you are go, if you are doing grade 12, just type in 12. And then you are going to press search. And then it's going to indicate this current in grade 12 and select it. And then you are going to select the school living certificate, the school living subject, the first one. It's mathematics. Let me just search math. Uh, mathematics. If it's a mathematics, national senior certificate. So mathematics here. Yeah. Make sure it's written National Senior Certificate, NSC. And then I'm going to have to search another one. Mm. Life Sciences, I won't type it as a whole, I'm just going to type in life, then it's going, I'm going to search. Life Sciences. Where is it putting all these subjects? Okay, it says enter your subject details and click add subject. Okay. The add subject does not work. I don't understand why. Great. This is great for search. 
Oh, okay, let me use grade 11 because it doesn't have a grade 12 with us yet. Let me just use grade 11. Why won't it search? Why am I making a mistake? Okay, let me go back here and search. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to click in on search. Mathematics, national mathematics case. See, that does not allow me. Where is the problem? Not the problem. Where am I using the street? Let me just come here. Wait, 12. Okay, now I understand that where, where I, I was making the street. So here, basically asking, asking for the great 11 results. So the first one is going to be in, in mathematics, and then it's asking me for the symbol. I'm going to type it. It's a very nice symbol. She passed mathematics so well. So let me come back here. Wait, let me check for the grade 11 stuff. Okay, mm I found it. I'm going to search for it here. That was it for my click for, for mathematics. And then I'm going to select eight subjects. So if you can take a look, I had selected the subject and then it was saying national senior certificate, but then I didn't select the grade 11 symbol for that section, for that section subject. Oh, I selected the wrong symbol, by the way. This was a grade 11 math result. And then I'm going to add that subject. And then I'm going to come to search for the second one. I'm going to search for life sciences. Then I'm going to search. Search. Yes, that's life sciences. And then. It sees the grade. Machine senior certificate, I'm just going to select it. And then I'm going to find the result for life sciences. That's what she got for life science. And then I'm going to search the second then in the next one. She was also doing life orientation. So I'm just going to search life again for life orientation. Life orientation. Everyone's a genius on this one. So just guess how much you got. That's the only grade available. And then I'm going to search how much you got. She had gotten this for life orientation. And then I'm going to add that subject. And then I'm going to search for the next subject. They have to be seven. The next one is going to be geography. I'm going to start with geo. Why is it not appearing? Geo. Oh, I just closed. Geo. And then I'm going to go down geography. Great. I'm going to come down. And then it's going to ask me for the sample you got for geography. Let me check. Okay, this was it. And then I'm going to select the next one. The next one is Zulu. What do I keep? Zulu. And I'm going to search that. This is Zulu as a home language. 
and then I'm going to say great international senior certificate and then the final grade 12 symbol for Zulu was 79. And then I'm going to select head subject. And then the next one that's missing is English. Did I click on the right place? No. English. And then I'm going to search. And then I'm going to select English for the first additional language. And then I'm going to select NSC there. Then I'm going to put three on English. And then I'm going to select that subject. Then the next one that's missing is physical sciences. I'm going to type in PHY and then I'm going to search physical sciences, national certificate. And then I'm going to search the grade, it's national certificate, the final symbol for grade 11 in physical sciences was 75. Then I'm going to add that. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they're all complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mathematics, are sciences, like orientation, geography, Zulu, English, physical sciences. Yes, they're done. Then I'm going to click on save and continue. Then it's asking me for school details. Which school did you last attend? And then I'm going to search a school. And this is the name of the school. Very nice school, by the way. That's it. That's the Chava Secondary School. That's the best public school you can ever go to. And then it's asking what is it that she's currently doing? She's in, she's in current in metric. Yes, it's there. Have you studied in another institution previously? No. And I'm gonna move on. Then it's asking me for the academic year, 2023. Limit your selection to a specific faculty. I'm looking for the faculty. Okay, what are you applying for? Circular courses, continuing education program. Okay, first you have to read here what circular course means. An undergraduate falls under circular course, a postgraduate falls under circular course, continuing falls under programs include online learning, learning. She won't be doing online learning. So I am going to go to circular courses. And it's so it's asking me to search for the faculty. And I'm looking for the faculty of communities. And it's asking me to search for the program. I'm looking for journalism. Oh, not there. Was it? Yes, this is the first one. And then for which period are you planning to study?
discuss here. It's ATK duration type description new as the undergraduate, then I'm going to add the qualification. And then I'm going to ask me to select the second qualification, 2023. Faculty, I'm not sure which faculty journalism is in. But it's a circular course. And then I'm just going to search for the course. Let me check. No, it's not up here. Okay, let me just do this. No. Yeah. No, oh, this is not what I want. Must be here. Yeah. Which faculty does um, journalism here in? It must be in the faculty of humanities. Huh? I can't select two programs under one faculty. Let me declare on here. Let me come here. And then let me select this one. Which period are you planning to start it for? First year. And then I'm going to say add qualification. We think they can only add one qualification. So I'm just going to proceed and continue. And then it's asking me to verify the personal details. Let me double check. Personal details. Personal details, the ID number, let me set a date. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's correct. And then that's all the information that is needed. Yes, then once I've confirmed, I'm going to select continue. After verifying the information, then it's asking me for a pin, for a login pin. I'm going to take this one. I need something to write it on. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to accept. Then I'm going to submit the application. And it's saying I should upload my documents. Do you have any electronic copies to upload? Yes. And then I'm going to click on next. Let me check what's going to ask me to upload. She already has a student number. Okay, we need to check. Let me upload. Let me check if it needs me to upload. 
open na lang yung gusto yung number na yung shop on my side on the other side They have already sent the application verification. Okay. Then number, I'm gonna type it in. Okay, then uh, the team, and then I'm going to log in. And then it's going to ask me to check what I'm supposed to upload for here. Okay, here I doubt there's anything that has to be uploaded. But let me come to academic resident application. Yeah, upload of documents required. No uploading of documents required. Okay, quite fun. Then I'm, I'm gonna try to submit a resident application. New resident application year for 2023. And then I'm going to click the APK. Test CRS. And I'm going to accept. And then I'm going to proceed with the application. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.